Thank you. Question the uh, Minister of Energy. Uh, Minister Rex G is the kind of person we want to see more of in the province of Ontario. He's a Chinese Canadian immigrant that came to this country to work hard, provide for his family, and give back to the new country he loves. He opened up a greenhouse in Smithville, Ontario, been running for 15 years. This January, he visited his ailing parents in China, and he missed a bill for $362. 29 days later, the utility, Niagara Peninsula Energy, cut the cord. They disconnected his power. The consequences were entirely predictable. The boiler shut down, the pipes burst, his entire crop in the greenhouse was wiped out. The cost to him? $150,000. Minister, would you agree with me that Niagara Peninsula Energy went way, way, way too far, and they owe Mr. G compensation for the destruction Question. of his livelihood? Thank you. Minister of Energy. Mr. Speaker, uh, I appreciate the question from the member from Niagara West uh, Gladbrook uh, and uh, appreciate uh, that uh, he has been here regularly and uh, pleased to uh, receive a question from him. The issue he raises uh, brings, brings to uh, question uh, the role of the regulator, the Ontario Energy Board, because uh, we have, I think, something like five million uh, electricity customers in Ontario. And they do need a place to go with their complaints, Mr. Speaker. The Ontario Energy Board uh, has a report card, uh, and uh, they, uh, they do follow up. In fact, uh, the member brought this to my attention, uh, and his constituent has followed the appropriate process, uh, bringing the issue to the attention of the Ontario Energy Board, the independent regulator with the mandate to protect Ontario ratepayers. I understand that the Ontario Energy Board has yes, filed a complaint with the local utility and is currently awaiting their response. There is accountability, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Supplementary. I thank the uh, Minister. And, and you're right. We, we did, through my office, lodge a formal complaint with the, with the Ontario Energy Board on behalf of Mr. G. But I think we go a step farther. And I've known you, Minister, for a long time. I know in your heart you know the company did wrong. It was externally damaging, $150,000 in losses for a $362 bill. To boot, Mr. G had never missed a single payment. He paid his bills and he paid them on time. Not only this was a massive screw-up, it was cruel. You play a unique role. You occupy, as Theodore Roosevelt said, the bully pulpit. You are the minister. You carry a lot of weight. I know it's with the OEB and the local utility, but, Minister, will you join me? Tell Niagara Prince Energy to give their heads a shake, do the right thing, and pay Mr. G for his damages. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker I definitely will join him on this particular file, Mr. Speaker. Um, it is um, uh, apparently a very significant injustice uh, that has happened in this particular case. Uh, I know that the Ontario Energy Board now is actually working with the utility to try to resolve this particular issue. Uh, certainly any information that I have, I will share with the member, and I will work with the member to try to bring this to a, uh, to a positive resolution, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.